All right, family, we are back again. So we are at a different location, as you see. And uh, I'm still with uh, Mr. Julius, but uh, we are joined with another gentleman. Uh -huh. What's your name? Am I not one? Umar. 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 Okay. So uh, we found Mr. Umar through Julius's associates. Am I right? Yes, right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you're going to talk to us and uh, let the people know who Mr. Omar is and uh, why it was important to have him while checking out this land. Mm. Uh -huh. Why do we have Mr. Omar with us? Uh, Umar is the one who knows the location of this land. Okay. So he's going to tour us around. Mm -hmm. so that we can see whether it will do for us. Okay, yeah, so basically Mr. Umar is the one that knows the boundaries, the boundaries and information about this land. That's why uh, he's with us right now. So yes. what is the size of this land? It's three acres. Three acres. Yes. Uh, okay, so is it on a title or no title? It's on a title. This land is has a title. Is it a Kuzira chapa. Bega ne chapa. Ole takobi. Takobi. Okay. Bega no katushoke tulagi. Okay. The answer is yes or no. Title or no title. Bega no katushoke tuje. Okay. So he says, let us first tour the land, and uh, we will chat about the details much later. Ah. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, that is it. It has the title. Oh. It has the title. Okay, mm -hmm. the answer is yes, it has a title, mm -hmm. even though Mr. Umar uses a bit technical <laughs> terms. <laughs> technical terms to, you know, to answer that question. We didn't understand that mm -hmm. uh, before, but now we do. So mm -hmm. let us see the land. Three acres is what we're looking at right now. So enjoy the video. Okay, so here we go. We are starting with... Uh, the border or the boundary on the other side. -da 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 -da. It's the one and only MUWG. Okay, boundary is what you're looking at. Let's go. It's a neighbor, the owner of this. Huh? Oh, okay. So basically, this small path is the is the border on this end. Okay, let's go. It's the one and only MU double G. I'm back in another episode of land yeah you know this is the as we proceed we are walking actually on the border or on the boundary of this land and uh-huh Rikomao oh we still Tucha Agenda Okay, we are still going, we are still going. So he was showing me that, so you all who have been watching my videos about land, you have seen this plant. This plant is very popular for marking boundaries of land or unregistered land in Uganda. So uh, Mr. Julius, what's the name of this plant? Luan. Luani. Mm. Eh. Luan. I'll be teaching you some Luganda as well. This plant, same plant, is called Luani. Hey, hey. Can you say that word? Okay. Oh, so then uh, it makes a corner. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, okay. So guys, you can see that this is a, a planted fence, yeah? You know this fence, this plant's 
or these trees were planted such that they, they mark the boundary of the land. So we're still going. So as we came straight down and then we made a corner and turned. So we're still going, we're still going. Oh, so basically, uh, okay. So this land has a title and was surveyed, and uh, a stone was planted somewhere here. But uh, I think. Uh, I think we can't see it right now we need to dig but uh no problem let's continue checking the boundary and uh at a later stage if uh there is need okay ah okay okay let's go so look at look at uh look at these guys this is is this bogoya or matoke <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is bananas, guys. <laughs> and these bananas, uh, look at, they were wasted. I feel bad. I feel very, very bad. They're all wasted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still, the boundaries are very, very clear because those are the, uh, the most important things while checking out land are the boundaries. So we are going. Remember, I'm still with um, Mr. Julius and now we are joined by... Right. Okay. And uh, we are with brother Umar, who is, uh, I mean, who is the guy who has all the information uh, regarding this land. So he's taking us and uh, we are passing on the boundaries of the land. Uh, now, in uh, my previous episode that I recorded, it was, um, it was, uh, there was a swamp. So you can see guys, that's another plant. You know, it's still separating the land. Eh? Luani, according to uh, Mr. Julius, he told us that the local name for that plant is Luani. And uh, uh, look at that. That's a rock. Remember the, the rocks I showed you in, uh, one of my videos the other way big big rocks but, uh, this one is a small rock so we are passing in the boundaries of the land and uh, these are actually three acres but uh, all that has to be confirmed because remember I made a video with uh, a brother and then we, we we were basically explaining to you uh, the three procedures of checking land you know at least if you're beginning to I mean if you're looking at land there are three major steps that you need to take at least you cannot miss them you may take more than three uh -huh. another one another plant separating the land yeah so we talked about uh, we talked about the first one is LC1 or local council one chairperson. So the LC1 chairperson is the one that signs on every single piece of land that is being sold at the village level, you know? So you have to make sure that you meet the LC1 chairperson and uh, confirm if the land actually belongs to the people who say 
that they own that land okay that's the first check and uh, you can go back and watch uh, my video it's titled what you need to do before buying land in uganda go and watch my video it's live on the channel but uh, i'll just take you through the steps branch co another corner okay so many so many corners we have to take so uh step number two is the villagers you know what i'm saying so Mm. okay mm. another corner right here yeah so the villagers so while the people try to convince you that oh this is their land but uh the, there must be witnesses you know you just cannot own land from nowhere so the neighboring people at the village they must confirm that oh yes the land belongs to mugi if uh if that's the case if i am the one trying to sell the land so you will go and uh nearby you know ask the neighbors oh mugi says this land belongs to him is that true so that's another that's another step towards uh verification you know and uh the step number three if the land is registered uh if the land has a title you must go to the land registry you know that is either district level or national level you must be able to go and verify the title at the national or district land registry so remember guys you always have to be very very careful because uh the the opportunists you, you know the opportunistic people are everywhere they are everywhere guys so you have to be extra careful to make sure that you don't lose any money <clears throat> okay so also if it's family land if it's owned by one person that's okay but if it's owned by a family please try to meet as many family members as possible you know in africa it's always an extended family so the information is known within the family you know so try to meet the family members right and um have a conversation with them try to confirm okay is this land family owned do all or majority of family members agree to the sale do they all agree that the land should be sold and uh, once you establish all those checks you know what i'm saying i can almost guarantee that you are safe if you go through all those steps that i have mentioned to you i can guarantee that you are almost safe and uh, you can go ahead and engage in that transaction uh, okay we kind of cross the boundary but uh here. where this one okay <sighs> all right we've been going and going and going and not uh, not stopping but uh we have finally come to the lower boundary this side so let's proceed and uh encircle the land guys this land is is okay you know when i look at it my impression is that uh i like it to be honest i really do mm -hmm. keep going keep going uh, i like this land by just you know looking at it i am very difficult to impress you know to be impressed there eh? if you're trying to impress mugi just make sure that you're good at what you're doing so even the land it really has to be good for me to to be moved uh-huh like that so when i say that i am impressed by the land it's really good I just know that oh 
Oh dear. Uh huh. Remember, guys, that uh, we are moving through the boundaries, right? So we are moving through the boundaries. And uh, this is our man, Mr. Umar, helping us. Yeah, guys. Whew. A no easy thing. Yeah, we are taking a tour of this land. But uh, most importantly, we have been informed that the land is on a title, is registered with a ready title. So this is really good, you know, where there is a title, it makes the work even uh, simplified, you know, easier because it's difficult to, to try and lie when there is a title. A title can be checked, it can be confirmed. Remember now guys, we are walking uh, on the boundary. So while, while going down, we were on the other end, you know, so we went down using the other boundary on the other side. Now we are going up and are still following the border. So, yeah, I was telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that the land is titled. That kind of uh, reduces the burden. And uh, because you have to put in some work going to this office and another office trying to register the land. Yeah, man. This is good, this is good guys. Let me know what you think about this piece of land. Uh, you can see that uh, there was corn grown, I guess for the previous season, for, for last season. There are also some potatoes as well. If you look uh, very well. Yeah. So, we keep going people, we keep working. You know what I'm saying? Guys, like I told you, we are still in the, in the same Mayuge area. And uh, in my previous video, when we was checking out some land, we, uh, we could see Mayuge Sugar Factory and uh, also at this piece of land that we're looking at right now, we can still see Mayuge Sugar Factory. Uh, let me zoom in. Uh, can't zoom in. Yeah, but uh, that's my Yuge Sugar Factory guys in the background, okay? Don't worry about it. My Yuge Sugar Factory for you guys. Uh, and uh, you know, when you look closely, you can see all those are sugarcane plantations because there is ready market for the local people where they can sell their sugar cane when they harvest. Yes, people. We're still going. My man harvesting some corn. And uh, you can see that the land is fertile, you know? Look at all these corn, you know? So if you want to grow some crops, keep some animals, you can do whatever you want with your land. But most importantly, the land is fertile. Whew. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Catch to Ambuke. And again, 
you have these beautiful heritage stones, man. I don't know why I'm attracted to them. These rocks. But uh, yeah, you have them there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's showing us the boundary. Okay, cool. Okay. There you have it, people. There you have the boundary. And we're almost back to the same point where we started. Yeah. So, there you go. Ah, okay. So, this is it guys. And then, in that direction is where we started. Okay, cool. So let us chat about a few things, okay? And then we will call it a successful tour.